Welcome to my kitchen. I'm about to make a chocolate milk mix, a powder mix, so that I can make some chocolate milk. Because today, July 28th, is National Chocolate Milk Day. I found that out while my husband and I were driving up I-35 to come back home after having a few days down in Austin. And so I thought today was a perfect day to go ahead and refill my empty chocolate milk mix container. And the milk mix that, or the chocolate milk mix that I am making is, um, it's healthy. It's not filled with yucky stuff like what I grew up drinking, uh, that Nesquik stuff. Um, though I do, I did enjoy it back then. I just don't enjoy it now. It's filled with sugar and other things that I don't want. So I have um, a healthy mix that I can make. Thanks to Trim Healthy Mama making a recipe called Trim Quick. It's right here. And I'm gonna make that right now on camera. It comes from this cookbook, um, the Trim Healthy Mama cookbook. It's the second of, I think, five or six cookbooks they have now. I'll link all the cookbook names and um, links to them in the description box and I'll link the recipe, uh, the, I'll link to this recipe in the description box because this is now a public facing recipe that they've shared multiple times on their THM fan page. Um, and then I'm going to enjoy some chocolate milk because this is not chocolate milk. This is just water. Um, so I have the recipe sitting here and it takes a, a sweetener that is not going to raise your blood sugar. It takes unsweetened cocoa powder, um, whey protein powder or collagen. I'm going to use both and some mineral salt. It's a very simple recipe to throw together. So let's start with, um, we'll just open up the container because I'm gonna be putting everything in here, the ingredients in here. Now the sweetener it calls for is half a cup of gentle sweet. Well, I don't have half a cup of gentle sweet and I don't have my normal sweetener that I would use called allulose, but I know that I can use stevia. And this stevia is the Trim Healthy Mama stevia. Um, I keep it in a little uh, short squat mason jar, I guess that's what I call that. And I have figured out through a conversion chart that you can see on your screen how much to use. But if you can't make heads or tails of that sweetener chart, the link to it will be in the description box. I've provided another link to one of my favorite um, THM bloggers, Northern Nestor, and she has a whole long blog post about the different sweetener options that you can use and their conversion to, you know, one another. So that's a great resource for you to have. I am going to be, instead of half a cup of gentle sweet, I'm going to be using a teaspoon of stevia. So I'm gonna put that in, and I'm making a double batch, so I'm going to put in two teaspoons. So that, each teaspoon of stevia should be equivalent to half a cup of gentle sweet, and if I were using allulose, I would probably use a half a cup of allulose because I kinda of treat allulose as a one-to-one -one measure for gentle sweet. And allulose is my favorite sweetener to use because it is actually, um, a, a, it has some healthy benefits to lowering blood glucose. I will put a link to some resources about that and other people's teaching videos. Uh, Thomas DeLauer has a couple good videos about allulose. Peter, Peter Atia has a great blog post about allulose. That'll all be in the description box. The next thing I need is half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. And this is a Hershey's container of, that I repurposed to keep my organic cacao powder. That's what I use for my cocoa powder. And I think I'm gonna have enough to 
double this recipe. It calls for half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. So I'll do half a cup twice. Let's see if I have a whole cup in here or not. There's the first half cup. Let's see if I can get out another half cup out of here before I have to refill it from the big bag here. <clears throat> I ordered this, excuse me, I ordered this big bag of cocoa powder, cacao powder off from Amazon. I'll refill this later, not on camera. Won't take up your time with that. I order that off Amazon and I'll put a link to it in the description box. Then it calls for half a cup of whey protein powder or a quarter cup of whey protein powder and a quarter cup of collagen. I'm going to use both whey protein powder and collagen because they each have their benefits. So a quarter cup. I should have gotten that, but I didn't. So just follow me. Um, quarter cup. Except I'm going to double a quarter cup and I'm going to use half a cup. So I didn't need to do that. But here we go. This is um, collagen. And here's the collagen that I use. Um, custom collagen. And I will link that in the description box. So... One batch would call for a quarter cup of collagen, but I'm doing a double batch. So there's the second quarter cup. And then it calls for a quarter cup of the whey protein powder. And I use this grass-fed whey. Um, I get this off Amazon too. I will put a link in the description box for that if you want to do that. Trim Healthy Mama's whey protein powder is really good, but I can't order from Trim Healthy Mama. So um, that's a long story. I'm going to use a quarter cup of whey protein powder. That's, I have my box label here. And so doubling that. And then the last thing is a quarter cup, uh, a quarter, not cup, teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of mineral salt. So let's get that down. Quarter teaspoon. Back over here where my measuring spoons are. Uh, I'm just going to use a half teaspoon instead of a quarter teaspoon twice. Ooh, I'm going to have to refill that. Okay. So there is, it calls for a quarter cup of teaspoon mineral salt. This is a half teaspoon done twice. That's all that it takes to make a homemade milk chocolate mix. And I, what I'm going to do is get a little um, whisk to kind of just whisk and mix it up a little bit. Probably I'll end up shaking it really well, but... This will help mix it, get it started. I'll read off the information here on the recipe and maybe that will help you understand this recipe more. I didn't get it fully mixed because I got a little bit of white down here, but I'm gonna put the lid on and give it a good shake around and that should take care of the rest of it, get it fully mixed up. And then I'll do the whisk again for it. What the recipe book says is, why buy Nesquik when you can enjoy Trim Quick? Now you can whip, whip up protein-rich chocolate milk anytime you want in a flash. It's fabulous mixed with, mixed with unsweetened almond or cashew milk. If you have growing children without weight issues, they can enjoy this with regular milk, raw whole milk being the most optimum for them. And it says to place all the ingredients in a blender and blend it until smooth. I'm not gonna do that, obviously. I find this plenty adequate to mix it up. And then for serving idea, for easy chocolate milk, combine two and a half to three tablespoons of trim quick with one large glass of milk in a blender and blend until smooth and frothy. Um, if you don't wanna blend, put the trim quick in a glass with two tablespoons milk, stir well until blended to a paste, then add the rest of the milk in, stirring again until smooth. So I am going to make up a glass of protein-rich chocolate milk to honor 
National M Chocolate Milk Day.